Hello guys. Today I'm going to show you how to resolve two different alert messages within Cricut Design Space. The first one is project incompatible and the second one is that Cricut Design Space cannot read your cut lines when you're doing a print and cut project. So I'm inside Cricut Design Space and I have a blank canvas on my screen. On the left hand side I'm going to select upload and I'm just going to um, upload an image that I already have on my computer and select it and insert images. Now when your image um, comes onto the canvas there is some information you want to look at on the right hand side of your screen. First it's going to tell you the name of the image and that's whatever you name the image or the image was named when you uploaded it to your computer. It's also going to give you a snippet of what the image looked like and it's going to tell you what type of project this is. So this is a cut and print using this image which means that when you click on make it you'll be sending this image to your printer. Your printer will then print it out all in color as you see it and then you'll take that printed image You'll place it on your physical mat, place the mat into your cutting machine, and then your cutting machine will cut the image out for you. In addition, you also have a little eye here. So if you have multiple images on your canvas and you wanted to remove a few of them so that you could only work with one image, then you could click on this little eye one time and it will hide that image. Now, if you click to make your project and that eye is hiding whatever images, those images will not be a part of the project, okay? But to make them a part of the project, they must be displayed on your canvas. So all you have to do is click the eye again and it'll bring the image back. Now, there is also a little alert message here. So anytime you upload an image in Cricut Design Space, you always wanna look over to the right-hand side to see if you see this little alert. If you see this alert, don't ignore it because even if you click on make it, it's going to give you a message that you cannot bypass. So basically what this project incompatible message is telling you is that your image is too large for a print and cut size measurement inside Cricut Design Space. So you're going to have to adjust the sizing of your image. Now, for Cricut Design Space, you cannot print and cut larger than a 9.25 by 6.75. And again, that's 9.25 by 6.75. So you want to make sure that your image is within those size restrictions. Otherwise, you're going to receive this message. Now, when I click on OK, all I have to do is write up under Untitled or whatever that you have your project saved name saved as, you have a width and height. And so you have a little unlock, uh, lock proportions button in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave that locked so that when I adjust the width, and I'm just going to type in 6.75 and tab. When you leave your proportions locked, Cricut Design Space will automatically change the height to fit within the width and height proportions so that your image doesn't look skewed. All right, so at this point, you look over to the right-hand side and you see that your alert has now gone away. So now when we click on make it, we no longer get the alert message. Now, the next message that we're going to address is when Cricut Design Space can't read your cut lines, okay? So anytime you're working with the print and cut project, you should get this black border around your image. Now, yes, this black border will print out, but when you put it into your machine to cut it out, Cricut is using these black lines to gauge where your cut marks are. And so if you don't have this black line on your print and cut sheet of paper, then you're going to receive an error message. If your image is not going in the direction that it displays on this mat here, then you're going to get an error message. So this is showing that the um, image is going in the portrait direction. So you want to place your paper in the portrait direction. If your image was displaying that it was going from left to right, which is in the landscape direction, then you want to place your paper going in the landscape direction from left to right. Okay, so I'm going to show you what happens. I'm going to go ahead and click on continue 
and I am going to go ahead and select that I've already printed my image because I have. So you would click on send to printer and go ahead and make your project. However, I'm going to select I've already printed. And now I'm going to select the material type, which I'm going to say cardstock. And I have my, I'm going to place my image going landscape instead of portrait. And I'm going to show you what's going to happen. So again, I have my image going landscape from left to right instead of portrait, which was from top to bottom. So now Cricut Design Space is going to scan my image so they can see where the cut marks are. But again, I do not have my image going top to bottom. I have it the page going landscape from left to right, just so I can show you the alert message that you'll receive. So it's still trying to scan to pick up the cut marks. Still trying to find where to cut. And now you get this alert message and it's letting you know the machine cannot read the cut sensor marks and to make sure you're using the white material it is positioned correctly on the mat and the cut sensor marks are fully printed and then it tells you to try again okay so we would just click on cancel it's going to unload my mat so that i can put my image in the right direction and this time i'm going to place it in the portrait so that you can see what will happen when I now go in to cut my project. So I'm reloading the image and I have it going in the portrait direction. So again, Cricut is going in to scan to find the cut marks And it's still scanning. Okay, it has completed scanning. It's detecting everything that needs to be done here to cut this image. And now it is cutting out the image. So I'm just going to stop this because I just wanted to show you how to resolve the issue. All right, so that is how you can take care of your project incompatible and also that Cricut Design Space can't recognize your cut lines um, in your project. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about what I've shown you here, then feel free to let me know and I will do my best to try to assist you. If you're currently a member in my Facebook group, which is Ken Doris's Cricut and Creative Crafters, then thank you guys for being a part of my group. And if not, you can also always send us a request to join our group where we do lots of different creative crafts. And if you are not currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can find me by searching Doris Edwards on YouTube and you can subscribe to my channel. And I place tutorials on my YouTube channel at least once or twice a week, sometimes more. And then um, also click on the bell notification in the top right hand corner and that way you'll be notified anytime I upload a video or tutorial to, um, to YouTube. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today so that I can show you how to address both of those different types of alerts that you may receive at some point in time within Cricut Design Space. And as always, each one reach one so that each one can teach one. Have a great day, guys.